Well, you know, there are people all around the world who apparently would prefer to be, if not white alone, at least a little more white. This is a story from CNN. It's part of their White Lies series. Did you I, know CNN? I, I've not seen the White Lies series. I think what? I'm going to stay away from it. No, no, no. This, you find this very edifying. Uh, this started with this, this article from CNN about skin lightening cream. Oh, yeah. Yes. It, uh, it starts with this, uh, with this admonition or this boast. This story is part of White Lies, a series by CNN's As Equals. What, I don't know what that means. A series by CNN's As Equals. I guess that's the name of the series. Investigating skin whitening practices worldwide to expose the underlying drivers of colorism, the industry that profits from it, and the cost to individuals and communities. I guess it's about $12, cent, $12 a bottle. The cost. Now, in 2018, the Rwandan government began enforcing a nationwide ban on cosmetics and hair dyes, making it illegal to produce or sell most skin lightening cosmetics. Violators are subject up to two years in prison and a maximum fine of five million Rwandan francs. That's about $5,000. $5,000 goes a long way in Rwanda. And many dealers have reportedly been arrested. Rwanda's president, Paul Kagame, who appears to be president for life these days, publicly lent support to the initiative back in 2018, saying on Twitter that skin bleaching was quite unhealthy, among other things and includes the use of prohibited chemicals. Now, Rwandan law, law enforcement agencies, agents have been relying on people informing on their neighbors in order to crack down on the illegal trade. That really makes for good relations uh, with your neighbors. Uh, they're, gonna, they're supposed to turn you in if you use this stuff. But some products are legal. 91 locally made cosmetic products manufactured by 19 companies have acquired the mark of approval hmm. that serves to reassure consumers that safety and quality standards have been met. They're all locally made. None of this uh, imported uh, foreign muck. Now, an expert says a ban will have some success, but will drive up prices in the underground marketplace and could lead to more locally produced counterfeit products as well as other illegal sources. And as it turns out, Rwanda is not the first country to ban this stuff. South Africa was the first. In 1990, in 1990, banned these skin lightening creams. They were the first to do it. Uh, they claim that they contain harmful ingredients. And apparently some of the ones for sale in Africa do have mercury and other strange things. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Uh, so in 1990, South Africa was the first. Kenya then imposed a ban in 2001. Ivory Coast in 2015. Uganda 2016. Ghana 2017. But... In most of these countries, skin lightening products continue to be sold openly. Now, Rwanda still has some way to go to eliminate the practice of skin whitening altogether because there is still a generation, quote, stuck on the idea that fair skin is better than dark. Uh, mm, that is what's got to be rooted out. The challenge is not just limiting supply, but also changing harmful cultural norms. I think, as you probably know, uh, skin lightening creams are a big business in India. Huge business. Huge business. The lighter, the better. And, of course, in the United States, uh, you've got a big business of doing the same thing. Well, where will it end? Hard to say. Well, now, of course, strangely, there's the uh, desire of black women in the United States to get hair from India. So... Hmm. Is that so? Yeah, that's, that's where a lot of the weaves come from. from well, I think yeah. that's probably uh, the desire. is not necessarily because it's Indian here, but because it's probably fairly inexpensive. Correct. Well, yeah, but yes. it, it's, yeah, yes. it's straight. It comes from India. Yes. It's straight. straight so, yeah. Well, uh, I guess you're not every night curling your hair, are you? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I guess not. No, I'm not. 